Don't laugh. Dan is over man here with another recipe for survival. Actually, this is good for anybody, single guys, uh, people who just don't like cooking too much, but it's gonna be tasty. That's the important part. See, give it to somebody in a plate, boom. Healthy too. All right, let's go and show you what's going on here. I started a little bit ahead of the game right here. I'm gonna put this down. I didn't light it, I swear to God. I what this know. is, what? is tilapia in vodka sauce, but it's non-alcohol vodka sauce. Mm -hmm. Buy from the store, Bertoli Vodka Sauce. Alright? It's like a creamy, cheesy, delightful morsel. Kind of. Whatever. Will be. And tilapia is like the frozen variety. Put it in the cold water while you're doing all this stuff to let it defrost. Comes in a frozen packet. This is tilapia. Farm raised. Have it sitting in the cold water. Don't put it in hot water or you'll be cooking this stuff. Set it right there. Let it chill out in the cold water. What I did was, first of all, you get some some uh, yellow squash, zucchini, chop it up about, about yay thick. No, about that thick. Alright. About that thick. This sometimes takes a little bit longer to cook. Don't matter. It's going to be cooking away. So I did one regular Yellow squash, one regular zucchini. Boom, chop it up. Quarter onion. Boom, chop that thing up. Chop it up long ways and then chop it up again. You don't have to go too small, see? Just go, look, look. Not too much onion. Onion will take longer to cook. And then red pepper, I cut it into, into long slivers. You don't want it too thick. Alright, you want to mix in. I sometimes do green pepper, but today I thought there's enough green in there. Zucchini. I'm going to leave out the green pepper. I'm going to do too much. Whatever. That's all right. That's what we're doing. Yellow squash. Zucchini. A little bit of onion. A little bit of red pepper. And vodka sauce. One bottle. It was two for one. I got two. So what you do is, get your large skillet. Put it onto a medium heat, low, low heat. Put it on a low heat, because first we're putting in the butter. You don't want to burn the butter. Music. Zombie music. So you're going to cook this till you get a little bit of see-through on the yellow. Get it all covered in butter. Flip around. Les onions. Sprinkle it on there. Moving around, turn it over. Thinly sliced red pepper. Low heat. And the smell is just absolutely divine. <laughs> I'm a robot. I can't smell stuff. <laughs> no, it smells awesome. If you see in my other video, this is what I put in a lot of stuff. Different types of vinegar. People just say, what are you doing putting in the vinegar? Don't put it in vinegar. No, I'm putting it in vinegar, man. Because it gives the most awesome cooking flavor, man. I'm talking drop dead. Don't be dead. And if you come over here and look at this, oh man, that's, oh, that's what I'm talking about. It'll cook off, but it's, it's getting into the food. See how it's sizzling down a little bit? See how I was talking about when this stuff goes clear? Let that go clear. 
These will catch up on it. These take a little bit longer. The, the zucchini takes a little bit longer. But right now, you add whatever you want to do right now. Throw in some, I like to put in a bit of hot sauce. I like to put in like a bit of it. So I'm going to put a little bit of dill. I didn't say dill weed. I said dill. Now go in the fridge get some parsley. But this, this is for your everyday guy. It's not hard. It's so easy. It's easy. You're gonna invite some people over. What are we having over at uh, over at them uh, uh, Billy Joe's house today? Man, or what did you eat last night when you went over visiting? What did you what did you, like, on your first date and back at the house? What did he feed you? Pizza? Hell no! Tilapia and focus sauce. Ask him first if they like fish. T people people like if they like fish, they'll like tilapia. White fish, man. Everybody likes that stuff. As far as I know, I'm only guessing. You know, well, who am I to know? I'm only a damn a hick from Makeville. But so anyway, you got that simmering down like that. It's softening up. What you do now, you get your vodka sauce. Shake it. Oh. Oh. oh, that's a sign of freshness right there. That's what I'm talking about. Get it fresh, get it fresh. Come over here. And I, it's all sizzling pretty good. Even if you go over and get a good old squint of this. Yeah, what you do right now, you're going to pour in your bottle of vodka sauce. Don't clean it all up. Then you're going to stir it in. Turn the pressure back up. So you got all that. Now that stuff that was on the bottom of the pan is now swimming around in vodka sauce. Which is a nice cheesy deal. Easy stuff. How easy do you want it to be? Chop it, chop it, chop, chop. Easy. That's the easiest thing to chop is a damn zucchini and a squash. Then the plate. Boom, boom, boom. Heat up the thing with like some some butter, not too much, just for a thin piece of butter. You don't have to use butter. You can use some uh, olive oil. I like butter. The olive oil is gonna kind of come to the top, kind of a little. Done with olive oil, work good. Make make sure you mix it in good. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I put some hot sauce in. I'm not gonna do that right now. Oh man, you know what I'm getting right now? I'm getting maters. And like, when you look at it right now, it's going to come to a little simmer. That's the next thing to go in. And okay, the so I turned it down a little bit because we're going to make an addition. Got the hot water ready for the fettuccine. That's what putting in this stuff. You put fettuccine in it. So when you invite the girl over, or you invite your digital, or whatever's happening, you're making like, for your roommates and all that stuff, what are you doing? Making like a... Tilapia, vodka, sauce, and fettuccine. You doing what now? Shut up and sit down. I'm in charge. Alright, you're in charge of your own kitchen. Don't let nobody walk in your stuff. Hey, get out of the kitchen! I'm in charge! I got olive oil here. Put a little bit of that in there. You could use butter. So right now, I got the heat going on on that. You got the ball coming up on the fettuccine. Uh, this serving size right here, what I'm gonna go is like, um, lots of people see different things on how to measure your fettuccine or your spaghetti. I do it like if I'm looking through my eye like this. That is what I'm gonna get for the amount of servings on this. So you grab your fettuccine. That's about right. Like a Pokemon in the eye. Pokemon in the eye. You could probably kick out a zombie with some fettuccine, man. See that? Spread it out. And let it set in there a little bit. Let it start to bend. It's going to go on in. This is a weapon. And you're 
stick to the end a little bit like that. I don't want it to burn. What I don't want the I don't want the ends of it to be out of the water and burn up. I might put two extra strands in here because I know when I do this every single time, when I put something extra in, that I have I end up with extra. But I can't help it. I'm gonna put this extra in, and that means I'm gonna have extra. Can't help it. Now, if you don't do that, you are a healthy-minded person. You are not thinking about putting extra in. You know exactly how much to put in, but I'm putting extra in every single time. So I put this in. Let it go in like that. Let it go in. I don't want to burn. I've got a big thing about having the ends of spaghetti and all that burnt, man. Okay, yeah. Alright, so Earlier, gonna take about I told 10 you minutes. that I'm going to be putting some tomatoes in. And I left this can, the can of tomatoes in here. I it was whole tomatoes. Chopped them up a little bit. Put the lid back on. Shake Omega. Got it? Yeah. And then you come on over. On a low heat. Ready to crank back up. Add this stuff and stir it in. It's going to change color a little bit. And add some tomatoes. Alright, right now we got the... 10 to 12 minutes on the on the uh, fettuccine. Another 10 minutes to get the uh, zucchini nice and tender. It might be a bit less. Just turn it down. Do it real slow. Real slow. I want a little bubble going on. You can put the lid on to keep the heat in too if you want. Leave it. You, you, you can leave it with a crank like that so it will get a little bit more juice in it. Uh, the fish here, I'm going to put some uh, lemon on it. The fish, I put a little bit of Lemon on there. Just a little bit. Why? I got no clue. I just put lemon on it. And I cover this up and put it in the refrigerator. Back it on up, back it up. Got the lid on, got this going like that. When that comes out, because we're gonna cook for a little bit more, we're gonna cook for about 10 minutes. And while you're while I'm not on camera. I'm going to put a little bit of garlic in there. Be in 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, fettuccine is bubbling away. The vodka sauce has now, and the tomatoes, has now softened up the hardest to cook part, which is the zucchini. See how it's clear in the middle? See? Whatever. The zucchini is now softening in the middle. The yellow squash is now pulverized, but that's all right. You want that. And uh, everything else is soft. Stir it around, and it's all good. Moving along, moving along. It's easy. It's so easy, it's crazy. And it's fancy. Taking a sad amount of fettuccine. Drain it out. But a lot of people are gonna say that they run water on that stuff. I ain't gonna do that. You know what? Because I don't I think it makes the dog chewy. Mix it around a little bit. Scare the water off it. I'm not gonna put it all in. I'm not gonna put it all in. I'm gonna put a bit in, and then some of it's gonna be the bed you put it on. Hell, we're going to escape eat. Get back in there, son. I'm going to put some of it in there. Why? That's just the way I roll. Now the fish. The fish, I'm going to put on like this. Just put it right on top. Didn't see that. Couric beer. Lid on it. 
Turn it a little up. I'm talking like, like a half. Very low heat. If you want, you can put a little, a little bit more tomato paste, a half a can of diced tomatoes, something like that. Um, if you only got a whole to oh, a tomato. I'm going to put a whole tomato in. One tomato in there is going to change the whole ball game. Try not to put the label in. That don't work. Wash it down a little bit. And then sometimes I even just cut off that piece and put... I can't stand it putting labels on them tomatoes. What the f*** up with that? I'm going to put some tomato in there. Excuse my mess. I usually am a little bit better than that. And a little bit sharper knife action. But I'm not looking for nice chopping. I'm looking for juice. We're going to cook it just enough to get that skin going too. Actually, I've seen juicier tomatoes. What happened here is, these are going to, once I get that steam going, this is going to sink into the juice. Why does everybody do that? Alright, go to on low. See you in a few minutes. Alright, let's go ahead and get your fork and knife ready. We're going to chew it up, chew it up. Couple minutes, man. I'm talking maybe... Five, five minutes is pushing it. You got to come back in three and check it out. See if it... Because you don't want the fish overcooked. You want it just okay, nice okay. Come there. on down. What we're doing right now. It's being simmering here. I had it uncovered. What we got here is fish being cooked. You see, I got like a whole one in here. Well, I got the half of this one. So you can, it, depending on how you want to serve it up. That is one cooked fish. See that? Nice and golden and juicy. Alright. Alright. Put it back down there. Put it back down. So you're serving up plate right there. I've tasted this a bunch of times. I know it's good. You can season it too if you want, but, you know. Oh, man. You don't have to put cheese on it. What planet am I on? Am I I'm talking, look, look. I, don't go, I took a little bit of that fish. Let me try it. What's it? Mm -mm. Tomato. More fish. I'm gonna find some squash then. Oh, zucchini. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh man, that's good. perfect right there. It ain't soft and mushy. It's just right. What else we got? We got some nice white fish right here. Oh man, look at this. Cook beautiful. It's not falling apart in that swim. You can, just, you can find it. You got a piece of pasta in there. Give me that fish back. Right. Yep. Good luck. And enjoy. Finally chop it. Watch your fingers. Don't try to chop your fingers off. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. oh.